Welcome to 21 Knots Salesforce How To Thursdays. In today's video, we'll explore how to use a formula field to add images or color to the opportunities object and also to a report. We do this all the time to see, at a quick glance, which tasks are completed versus the ones that are outstanding, or for anything that you want to make visually appealing. You can put these images on any object and even include them on the header or compact layout of a page. In today's example, we'll add status red, yellow, green traffic lights or colored dots to give us a glimpse as to which opportunities are coming due, are past due, or are closing out at some point in the future. Are you ready to get started? Let's do this. Let's log into our demo instance here. So I'm using an org here that was based on an Einstein Analytics org. Uh, we did that on last week's How To Thursday, so um, I'll link it below. The advantages of this particular org is that it includes data, or specifically opportunity and uh, account data. So if we go to the sales app, we can see what that looks like. Uh, we have two reports here. We can look at opportunities. And as you can see, it has a bunch of data with close dates out in the future, which will be helpful uh, with this particular exercise. So what we'll do here is we'll add a formula field to the opportunities object uh, that will depict the uh, opportunity status based on the close date. So we're going to create a formula that evaluates the close date and basically if we are close to uh, this opportunity closing it'll show yellow, uh, if it's past due it'll show red, um, if it's out in the future it'll show green. This is a nice visual that you can add to, uh, to your reports and uh, we'll show you how to get that done. As I stated, the first thing we're gonna be doing is uh, if I go to the opportunity and open one up, we could see all the details. Uh, this particular one is closed one, but it doesn't matter. What we wanna do here is add the opportunity status field. So what we're gonna do is click on this little cogwheel and go to edit object. Under fields and relationship, we're gonna click on new to create a new formula field. Uh, this type will be formula. Let's just name this one status. Now, we want this to return as text, even though we're gonna uh, put it in an image, we're actually gonna put a URL to pointing to these, uh, these images, as you'll see in a second. So type text, hit next, and as the formula, we'll be using this particular formula here, and I'll go through it in a second. So let me paste that in. So essentially what we're saying here is we're gonna pull an image. Uh, basically, if the opportunities close date, because we are in the opportunity object, if the opportunities close date minus today is uh, greater than 30 days, then we're gonna put the URL pointing to the green dot. If the close date minus today is less than 15 days, uh, we're gonna show a yellow dot. And if it's past due, then we're gonna show a, um, actually if it's due today, uh, we're gonna show a red dot, uh, else we're gonna show the red dot as well. So we can check sync syntax on this thing. 
and we're good to go. So the only thing we'll need to do is replace these values with the actual URL pointing to the um, three images, which we'll do right now. So let me, let me just go ahead and save this formula and we'll come back and modify it. Uh, I'm gonna make it visible on all the profiles. And we wanna add it to all the layouts. And we have our formula field. Now, we need to go back to the sales app and we wanna upload our dot files, our red, yellow, and green images. I'm going to go ahead and click upload files and we have three little PNG images here that I created. I'll also create a link to these images if you want to download them in the notes below. Okay, our images were loaded. Now, the trick is to make these images uh, public accessible. So what we'll do here is create public links for the three of them and note the actual link. So we're gonna create a public link and this enables anyone to be able to access uh, these particular images no matter where they're logging in from. So we're gonna create a public link. I'm gonna copy this link open the new tab, paste the link. And here's our publicly accessible uh, red dot. Now the trick here to get to the actual uh, URL for this image is to right click on it and say copy image address. Now this will be important and we'll replace the formula red dot with this particular URL. So I'm gonna note it down Here's our URL for that. Let's go back and do the same thing for a yellow and green dot. So yellow dot, drop down, public link, create link, create, copy, new tab, paste. Now again, you wanna right click copy image address, note that address down. So this will be for our yellow. And lastly, same exercise for the green dot. Public link, create link. Paste it in a new tab. Right click, copy image address, and this will be our green dot. Okay, we've got all the information that we need to finalize uh, our formula, and then we'll go and add it to our report and see what it looks like. So let's go back to the opportunity object and here's our custom status formula field. Let's go and essentially what we're gonna do is replace the URLs here with what we've just captured from our files. So we're gonna click on edit. Now, green URL. Is this particular link. yellow URL capture this link lastly red we need to copy it twice 
because we referenced it twice. Let's check the syntax again to ensure that we have no errors. That's good. Let's save. Okay, we've got our status formula field. Now we want to go to page layout. And we're only using the opportunity layout in this environment. So let's go there. And it puts status up here. Let's go and put it as the first field. Okay. Now, if we go back to our sales app to opportunities, we should see that status field. So let's just pull up opportunities closing this month and go to details. Let's see if we can refresh here to get that status field to show up. There we go. So we've got a yellow status here. Uh, this opportunity happens to close on December 26, which, which is less than 15 days from now uh, and shows us the yellow status. So now that we know we have the status formula correct, let's go ahead and add it to our opportunities report. So I'm gonna go back to reports, all opportunities report, and this is a report we created in our last how-to session, so you might want to reference that how-to Thursday. I'm going to click on edit, and we want to add this new custom status field. And what we'll do here is move it up to the top, right by the close date. Let's clean this up a little bit. I don't need owner role. Okay, let's leave it like that. And then I'll add a filter to show only opportunities that are open. So closed equals false. We'll click apply. Save and run. And there you have it. You have your status field. So at a glance, you can see which opportunities are past due, uh, as in this particular one here. Uh, you can see which ones are close, uh, which are in the yellow, and then which ones are beyond 30 days, uh, which are green. Please comment below, uh, let me know uh, what you'd like to see in future series, and uh, feel free to subscribe. We release a video like this every Thursday. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.